25th annual Wings Over Houston Air Show at Ellington Field where tons of planes are out. The Blue Angels are back for the first time since 1998. So it's going to be a great show. Check out some of the things that are going on. weather officers, that's what our technical title is, and this is the Arwo weather palette. This will be kind of a relay display off of what they have in the front. Usually that's going to be a radar or a mapping system. Um, and then the other significant thing we have up here is a satellite communication. And then this is all of our weather instrumentation over here. And so this is kind of the nexus of where we're gathering information from inside of a hurricane. Then we relay it all by this satellite directly to the hurricane center. So we have some things as we fly along that's automatically being taken data from the plane. And then we have a few specialized reports that we we'll take typically in the eye wall and in the eye we're using those sounds. I'm Luke Calder. I'm the navigator on the 130J. Usually, 130s, uh, the J models don't have navs, but uh, being the, the mission we have, uh, we're primarily responsible for weather avoidance, even though we're going through the hurricane. We want to try to miss the uh, most dangerous parts of the storm, the uh, roughest parts, the highest precipitation is what we read. Uh, you know, you see like the red on the top of the radar. We want to avoid that as much as possible but still get to the center of the storm and find the actual center so they can produce their uh, forecast for the weather center. With it. So we'll spool it up and he's going to take off straight up. Correct. Oh boy! I'm here with Lieutenant Colonel Mike Schultz. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel, can you tell us about the aircraft behind us? Yeah, the aircraft behind us is uh, an A-10 Warthog. Uh, it's a close air support fighter. We fight in close vicinity with the Army. What you'll see behind us is uh, we have nose art in the, uh, the face of a warthog. We're one of three squadrons that actually has nose art in the uh, Combat Air Force. Uh, you see the door art, Moonbeam McSwine. Uh, these are little Abner dog patch characters. The uh, 47th got permission from uh, the little Abner cartoonist, and every single one of our airplanes has a dog patch character.
And that wraps up the 25th annual Wings Over Houston Air Show. And there you have it. We were with Lieutenant Mike Colonel, and uh, thank you. You got it. Thank you. <laughs> I said Lieutenant Mike Colonel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny.